So I've probably actually got three key bits of advice that I'd give the general public. The first is the difference between absolute and relative risks. Eating a bacon sandwich might increase your risk of pancreatic cancer by 20%, but the absolute risks only go from five in every 400 to six in every 400. And what they're actually doing is comparing the extremes. So eating bacon every day with never eating it. And they love to use that as a justification for never doing an activity. Secondly, always think about the uncertainty on any point estimate. So I saw a lovely article that said that unemployment had fallen by 3,000, but the confidence interval on it was huge. And it actually could have been anywhere from a fall of 80,000 to an increase of 74,000. And finally, always put these stats into context and think about what they're not telling you. Living near a busy road increases your risk of dementia by 11% was an article in the BBC. But if you looked at the paper in more detail, you could see that smoking increased your risk of dementia by 30% and obesity increased your risk of dementia by 64%. So before you all pick up sticks and move to the countryside, there are lots of other things that you could do to decrease your risk of dementia. So absolute versus relative risks, always think about the uncertainty and put the numbers into context and think about what you're not being told and what the wider picture is.